Hi, today I'm reviewing the V Green Nature Mucin Cream. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. I'm never waste of time to sponsor ads or video. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video, check out my newsletter, check out my Patreon community, and check out the links. Okay, I thought I'd review this one, but I guess I hadn't. So finally getting a chance to do that. This is a complimentary product to their Nature Mucin Serum, which I've reviewed, which is wonderful. And uh, we'll talk more about the mucin and the nature part of it all. Uh, so uh, anyway, so let me talk about what they claim with this one. So they claim it replenishes moisture to damage and sagging skin, providing thorough hydration inside and out, enriched with arginine, a natural moisturizing factor. It helps maintain moisture, prevent dryness. The cream provides an intensive moisturizing care, creating a double protective film that keeps skin hydrated all day long. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes here, uh, what they follow through with on that, what promises they keep and what promises they don't keep. So, uh, okay, first criteria is packaging. We've got a plastic squeeze tube, which looks to be recyclable. So uh, no issues with that. Very nice. I like the fact that they have the expiration date on there, which is always nice and handy to have. A lot of brands don't necessarily do that, so it's nice. Uh, in terms of alcohol, there's no denatured drying types of alcohol in here. In terms of fragrance, there's no fragrance, no noticeable scent to this one at all. It really has no scent, which is what I prefer. Uh, manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. Uh, so ease of use. So after cleansing, toning, and serums, uh, you can apply this to your skin and smooth it over your face. Uh, you can use it morning and or evening. There's a little bit. Hang on. There we go. It's got a really wonderful uh, lotion-y cream texture to it, which feels really nice on skin. There we go. And it really does complement their serum, which is also wonderful, which I think I did a review on. If you want to certainly check that one out as well. So it feels really nice on skin. I prefer for myself to use this one in my morning routine. And I've been using this product off and on for like months now. And I, I don't know. I thought I'd reviewed it, and I guess I must have been thinking about the serum and not this. So, uh, yeah, so I use this a lot, and my neck sp specifically really loves it. My neck is super sensitive, and I really enjoy using this one on, the, on my neck area, too, and it feels really nice without feeling greasy or pilling or anything like that because some moisturizer on the neck area and your, like, neck wrinkles. There's a specific name for the neck wrinkles, but it escapes me at the moment. But sometimes, like, after a night of mo sleeping, I'll notice it's pilling a little bit in those. So I didn't have that issue at all with this. Worked great under sunscreens and things like that. No issues at all with that. Works great under vitamin C serums or over vitamin C serums as well. So very nice product. Moisturizing without feeling greasy. It sets to kind of a, I'd say, natural, slightly radiant finish. That is just slightly tacky. No, no other issues with that at all. So very easy to eat. You eat. <laughs> very easy to use and man i yeah, must not got a lot of sleep last night very easy to eat i am hungry actually i thinking of dairy queen now i'm thinking of eating moisturizer there is a brand called edible beauty so you could always eat that i guess if you want to the oh yeah people use do they use that for their skin yeah the blind oh right. that's right they use beef tallow which i guess has to be very hydrating I can't imagine what it smells like, but anyway. Leave a comment if you wanted to review it. <laughs> okay, so in terms of antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one, it's got a very minimal ingredient list, which is two products this week with very, min very, very minimal ingredient lists. Um, I guess that's nice for super sensitive skin. Uh, I love it if they included like a few more amino acids or soothing ingredients to this, but it's very, very simple. Um, so we've got wild yammered extract, which is also known as phytomucin. It's referring to snail mucin. Um, so yamroot is very beneficial for skin and it can really help skin. It contains a unique compound called diosingenin, which may help with photo aging damage on skin and also work as an anti-aging in an anti-aging function for skin. And uh, Isn't Tree has a whole line uh, after Yamroot and V Green, obviously, with the Yamroot. I think Yamroot's going to continue to get more and more popular. And for those that are vegan, 
it's a nice alternative to snail mucin in the fact that it hydrates the skin and kind of has the same feeling and anti-aging function that snail mucin does in, on skin that uh, yam root does. So there is research proving it's a benefit for skin. If you look on PubMed, it's been studied a lot. It's in wild yam root has even been studied for its potential to fight against certain cancer cells, which is amazing. Uh, I don't know if they proved anything or not, but it's looked like it's been has been studied for it. Yam root is also uh, thought to help with hyperpigmentation and brightening up the skin. It also functions as an antioxidant. Overall, it's a wonderful ingredient. So that's the main ingredient, fifty nine percent. Then we've got arginine, which is a skin identical ingredient and building block. Uh, for collagen production in the skin. So two major ingredients. This reminds me of the uh, Isn't Tree moisturizer I reviewed yesterday. This one, where we have two main stars of the show for ingredients. This one, we've got two main stars of the show. The yam root is impressive and may really function well. I say if you use this in conjunction with their Nature Mucin Serum, you get a little bit more beneficial ingredients. So, although for super sensitive skin, maybe just using one uh, one product with short ingredient list might be helpful. So, there we go. Okay, in terms of animal testing, it's vegan as well as cruelty free. So, for what this product promises, it promises to replenish moisture to damage and sagging skin providing thorough hydration inside and out and helps maintain the skin moisture to prevent dryness and provide intensive moisturizing care, creating a double protective film that keeps the skin hydrated all day long. I tend to agree with all of those ingredients. Uh, has a very nice hydrating cream. Yammer has antioxidant protection, so it can protect skin and keep skin feeling hydrated all day long. The nice thing is it's great for sensitive skin, dry skin, dehydrated skin, oily skin. Uh, and then for acne prone skin, we only have Cetera alcohol and glycerol stearate of note. So it's pretty friendly for almost all skin types with the exception of very acne prone skin. So I like that. I think it does what it promises, which is nice. And honestly, it does that with one star ingredient, which is the yam root. And yam root is, deserves more attention. And I think it will continue to become more and more popular, especially in K-Beauty and maybe other brands as well. Uh, okay, in terms of the price, so this is a full size, 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces, and it ranges in price from like $14 to $20. The average price I saw for it was about $16 or $17, so kind of varies depending on what store you pick it up on, on what day you pick it up on. So, uh, okay, last but not least, in terms of the it factor, it's a really nice minimal ingredient product. I do enjoy using this uh, after micro needling or sometimes when I have a little at home laser, a trio laser that I use. I like using this because it calms my skin without being irritating. And it also hydrates it without having too many other ingredients that could irritate it. Um, it's another one where there's not a lot of dupes for it. The closest ones I could find are not very similar and I don't think they even include the yam, yam wild yam root. Uh, <laughs> so the closest, the Purito Oat Intense Cream the Cosrx Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream are the closest two alternatives I can find, but honestly, they're not that close. So, uh, okay, so with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a nine. If they might've included a few more amino acids, it might've been closer to 10, but overall, it's still a really nice product that's really affordable, that will work well for most skin types and not be irritating or anything like that. So um, anyway, lovely product. Interest hearing from you guys. We had a chance to check this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.